All right, we're here to show you how you can quickly grab people and get them into your website with a squeeze page. All right, so just take a couple minutes, check this out, sign up below, and you'll be getting your own copy of the squeeze page generator as well. Okay, I know it says 90 seconds. In reality, we'll take a little bit more than 90 seconds. But once you get used to it, make make sure you uh, uh, go through it a couple times. Before you know it, it will seem like 90 seconds. So I'm going to log in here. Just show you what's going on. Okay, I don't want to do this. Okay, so back office, basically you have an affiliate link. You can promote this as well. There's affiliate tools. What we're going to do, we're going to make a squeeze page. Eventually with your squeeze pages, you can check out how many views you've had, how many people have converted, and actually followed through. So we're going to go make a new squeeze page. It's really six steps. Seven step is going to be just submitting it and, and saving it. So we're going to walk you through this. All right, so we're going to call it. These are all uh, editable. You can change these all. We're going to call this... Uh, the super magnet because you're going to magnetically attract people into your site you have a couple different options of how you want your page to look okay I like this one it's been a proven uh, high converter for some some big name markers out there these days so you know go with what you know and, and go with what works so we're going to change our headline a little bit And again, you can put whatever you want. I can do bullets, video, image, or nothing. I can just leave it blank. Notice if I do that, it's going to disappear. I can put a picture in there. I can put a video. And what we're going to do, I'm going to grab a quick video here. This is a video I made for Pretty Link Lite, which is a WordPress plugin. And I already had opened up YouTube already, so I'm just going to copy this code. And we're going to go back. I'm going to embed the code. The opt-in code is what you're going to take from uh, your autoresponder. So, for example, I'm a member of GVO, and that's where I host all my websites. So if you have any questions about GVO, feel free to email me, davegardner at magneticsponsors.com. And if you have Aweber, if you have iContact, you're just going to be doing your list campaign, and you're going to be grabbing your email autoresponder list. So you're going to need that. We'll get that out of the way. And then we're going to enter our code there. It says your opt-in code here. So I've entered that code. What I'm going to do, I actually want to change. So see how this start attracting more today? All right, so I already got my uh, submit button. Now you can change that. The submit button will say something else. The thank you URL is where you really want to send people to. I would highly suggest using this. And we're just going to verify that this is all set Sometimes they do change. Uh, what that'll do, that'll make sure that the person gets sent to the right website. So let me just do a quick check here. We're going to copy this. I'm going to go in and edit. Make sure the one I got is going in that direction. Which it's not, of course. So, such is life. Anyways, let's go back. We're going to check that one out. I'm going to go to the forms list. This is the one I want, one of these ones here. I need some uh, theme music going on in the background. All right, we'll check this 90 second one. Okay, because that's geared towards this. All right, so 90 second squeeze page. There's a thank you down, numbers at the bottom, 84B94. Yeah, so that's, that's a little bit different. We're going to, uh, I'm going to change something up here temporarily because each one will be a little bit different All right, we're gonna make a couple changes I right, can go into a word document so this is the new one new thank you page thank you page all right we are going to go around do some of these quick now when you're going to put it you're going to put it in the same one I'm just going to copy that because I need to get back into my original value I'm going to just play around here a little bit uh, it'll all make sense once you you actually get inside so I need to be able to go back in there so we're going to take this thank you page I'm going to copy it 
and I'm going to paste it in here. Notice how they are different. I need to have this one up here again, so we're going to control that. I'll, I'll, I'll go back and fix this one in here. You want to make sure that they're all single opt-in. I would just do first name and email, and I'm going to edit this, and then I'm going to grab the code again, just because I want to make sure that uh, I have the right code. I, I think I put the other one in there first, so I apologize for that, but you know, if those things happen, it's a learning curve sometimes. So I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to go back into this part right here, and we're going to change into our new code. Everything should be good now. Hunky dory. All right, grab this info now. So see, yeah, so this is a different one, so that's a good sign. This will direct again the thank you page. This is where I had to go in there. The thank you page will again direct you to and direct the person to this actual program. So you're going to grab people and be able to give them this free uh, opt in form and squeeze page generator, and you're going to be good to go. Now, one of the other key things here, we can add an exit pop up. So when you come to the site, you're going to get the video that, that goes basically to you know whatever you want or the information going wherever you want and then you can send them to an opt-in code or a, a pop-up so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna actually show you how this goes to GVO so let's go back and I'm gonna grab my GVO affiliate code and you'll see how there will be an exit pop for GVO on this so I'm just gonna copy this and we're gonna go there I'm gonna paste that in there for GVO and this is what I wanted to say so get control of your marketing needs today. Hit OK to close or click cancel to find out more. All right. And then basically that's it. Okay, so it's not really 90 seconds. 90 seconds is kind of a gimmick. I, I'll, I'll be straightforward and honest with you. But again, once you get the hang of it, you know, this is pretty new software, so you notice me fumbling a little bit there. But after a while, you're going to be smooth and you're running smooth uh, through this. So everything should be good to go. It's saved for me. I'm going to click that one more time. Usually you get a pop up. So if it doesn't pop up the first time, make sure you check it. There we go. Successfully saved. Okay, now what I can do, I can go back to my dashboard and I will see my third page, all right? So there's the super magnet. That's the one I just created. Notice there's no views, no conversions. Now what I'm going to do, a quick little run through here. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to open up a new window. Actually, what I'm going to do first, I am going to log out of here because that will uh, mess stuff up. So if I log out of this, I want to make sure that I'm not logged in because that will show different results. Okay, so if I press that in there, click press, and notice what happens. There's my video. Okay, now what you can do, you can actually go and you can set this uh, to change. You can set the code for autoplay. So let's take a quick look at that. Let's see if we can get this to switch to autoplay. But notice uh, this is where I would enter, magnetically attract people to your business, and you can play around with that. Um, they're going to be updating it as well to maybe have a little more control over the colors as far as the fonts go. Notice I got to shrink this a little bit. It's a little bit uh, narrower, so I got to change that up too. So, uh, a couple quick things. Let's let's take a quick look here. Let's go back into this. Let's go into YouTube. And I don't know if they have an autoplay option. Tell you what, we'll go to GVO. GVO I know does. Let's change our video. Okay, I'm going to go to the Easy Video Producer. I'm going to grab one of my videos. And just to check, the YouTube one I was using was 560 by 315. So we got to go smaller than that. Let me see. Yeah, 560 by 315. We could change the code. You can change those numbers and it'll fit. I want to see if I can get one that plays. Okay, so I'm going to show something. This is, this is one that I, I used in uh, May just a little bit ago. Okay, so this is one for Kunaki. Oops. Basically, being able to make your own disc, which is from as a marketer, is just a phenomenal thing to do. Uh, so, I would highly suggest checking out Kunaki.com. Uh, All right, so I'm going to pause this. We're going to go auto play. I don't want any watermark. Notice it's a little bit narrower, so it's going to work. And I apologize for the bell there. It's 11 o'clock at night, and I'm doing this. 
and we got the clock going in the background, so uh, we'll deal. So hopefully this 480 by 360 will fit. I'm going to grab the code. Uh, notice my pop-up came up. All right, if I go to cancel, notice it should bring me to GVO, which it does. There's my name down there. Okay, so that works There's great. There's a new wave of change. Let's get it's out now of here. A new Let's log back in. And I should see at least one link or one uh, click on that uh, link. All right, there we go. There it is. That was the one that I just did. So we're going to go edit it. So it's good that you're able to see this. Uh, you know, my mistakes are going to be your benefits in the long run. What we're going to do, we're going to edit uh, the video. I, I had a video that was too uh, big, and I'm going to change it. I want to see one that, that plays automatically. So we're going to see if this works. I'm going to save it. Okay, save successfully. I'm going to go grab my uh, code again. Control A and Control C will select all and then we'll copy it. And then I'm going to log out again. And we will give it another try. We'll see if it plays on its own. Okay, again, one of the, the perks of uh, GVO. Huh? Here we go. Hey guys, uh, Dave Gardner here. And I just want to show you a little package I got today. And you can play around with this too. So again, if you, you want to find out more about GVO, that's great. Uh, notice when I go to close, or if I go away, it actually pops up. So you can control your marketing needs today, hit OK or close. And again, if you uh, send some support questions, you know, hopefully they'll, they'll come up with a little more functionality. But again, the whole fact that they do it, if I hit the close or the OK button, this will just go away and you'll actually stay on the page. But if you click cancel, as you saw in the previous uh, scenario, you'll actually go to GVO, which is what I'm using for the video and what I'm using for autoresponder. So if I click close, notice it closes that, but it still stays here. So again, this has been Dave Gardner with uh, Magnetic Sponsors, and go grab the 90-second squeeze page generator right now and uh, start attracting people to your website.